Comic Sniper asks, how long should you keep a lipo at full charge? Thank you for $2. Comic Sniper, it, it there's no hard limit. As long as the battery's at full charge, it is slowly getting worse and worse over time. The longer you leave it at full charge, the worse it's going to be when you finally uh, discharge it and start using it again. Personally, um, if I... I would I would personally try and discharge batteries after one or two days, put them back at storage. Um, but it just depends. There have been times when I get back from a trip and I forget that I have charged. Like I'll be on a trip and I'm working and I charge batteries and then I get to work. And for whatever reason, I don't fly at all that day. And then I go back to the hotel. I go to bed. I get up in the morning and I drive home or I fly home and I forget that I have charged packs. And then like I take the weekend with my family and like by the time I get back to my batteries, it's like five days later. And I'm like, eh, you know, that's not ideal. But personally, if I could, I would say, you know, maybe two days keeps it minimum. Um, Prakul Shukar, thank you for 100 rupees. Is there any digital FPV OTG receiver for digital FPV system. Uh, walk snail and HD zero, yes. DJI, sort of, but less yes. Um, so for walk snail and HD zero, they have a standalone receiver with an HDMI output, and it's very straightforward. For DJI, um, if you're using the Vista and the V2 goggles, there is DigiView which is a free app that will get you USB out to an Android device. Um, and then there is also Cosmo Streamer. And Cosmo Streamer is supposed to work. Cosmo Streamer works with the V2 goggles. Um, and Cosmo Streamer is supposed to work with the G2 as well. And can anybody in the comment verify that Cosmo Stream? I wasn't aware that the goggles too had been cracked. So I'm, I'm surprised. I don't think it has to be cracked, right? Well, I think explain. they're probably just emulating the Android program like in a different way that's what my guess would be yeah but, the but, then, not cracked. but then why doesn't digiview work and i know that digiview might, doesn't work because digiview because that's not how the video works is what i'm saying like digiview would have to be made with goggles 2 already released to support goggles 2's video output method yeah but why it's a different are you saying video output di method. are you saying digiview isn't being updated i don't think digiview has been updated in like over a year that's why oh. i could be wrong so Cosmo Streamer, interesting. So, so Cosmo Streamer, that would be your choice for DJI. Boy, this box looks nicer than this one. I want, I want this box. I don't want this box. This, bleh. that one doesn't look as nice. It probably works just fine. Three hundred bucks for the box. One hundred fifty dollars for the license key. Yikes. So, boy. You're really paying for it. Cosmos Dreamer Light. 150 bucks for the Cosmos Dreamer Light. Huh. There you go. Um, those are the things I think of that uh, when I answer your question. Uh, thank you for five euros, Sebastian Konex, Konexi. Konex, I don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry. We missed you, Joshua. Best size in KV for a 4S racing motors, according to you. Uh, it, why are you racing on 4S? No one is racing on 4S. Okay? So I'm going to answer your question, but I have to acknowledge that no one's racing on 4S. I mean, like, no one is a strong word. Obviously, you're racing on 4S. You're not nobody. What's wrong with me? Uh, if you're racing on 4S because, like, you just, you have to, okay, I get it. But if you are just starting from scratch and you think that there's a reason why you should choose to race on 4S, you're wrong. You should choose to race on 6S. Okay, so let's assume that there is a good reason why you have to race on 4S and you want the best size in KV. Um, 
it's going to be like a 2207, 2207.5-ish motor. That's just what all the racers are settled on, pretty much. And it's going to be a KV, I think around 20, I think around 2400 KV is probably good. I say that because like you might be tempted to go with something like a 2800 KV and say, well, racing, I want more power. But most racers don't spend a lot of their time at full throttle. And some racers actually use a throttle scale to give them less power and more throttle resolution. So I think like a 24 or 2500 KV is probably fine. The Reaper says, what motor do you recommend for 6-inch 6S long-range cruiser? Um, for 6-inch 6S, uh, I guess that the 28mm motors commonly used on 7-inch are probably overkill. I probably would be looking at something like a 24 or 25mm motor. 2407, 2506, that, uh, that size range. Um, I don't, uh, think I have a specific motor I'd recommend. Like iFlight makes a 2506 that's worth considering. Um, FPV cycle has one. Chapper 86 says, I've started flying a Mobula 7 1S using default rates and finally flying it outdoors. I'm getting prop wash on throttle drops. Is that just normal on tiny whoops? Yes. Um, uh, there are things you can do to improve prop wash. But on tiny whoops, it's very difficult to almost impossible to just completely eliminating prop wash under all circumstances. So generally, uh, most most people flying a tiny whoop would understand that if you drop straight down and you throttle up, you're going to get prop wash, and you need to do things like, you know, pitch forward and kind of push out of your own prop wash and not just not do those things. So. Uh, Drewman FPV says, I'm trying to get 1804s for my AOS 3.5. Gep RC Speedex 1804 at 30. I, uh, I, I think that 1804s are a bad choice these days for 3.5 inch. I think they once upon a time were a good choice, but they are, wait, 1804. No, no, sorry. I was thinking of a, of a uh, taller motor. 1804. No, that's okay. I'm sorry. Um... What do I have on my site? Uh, so that would be the sub 250 gram page. Motors. 1404, 1604. The only 1804 are the T motor and the X Nova. Are they in stock? You're wanting the 3400 KV. 1804. Can you go? What about the T motor P1804? 3400 KV. Would that work for you? 3450. That's pretty damn close. That's where I would steer you. Okay. Uh, Prodigy. How are pilots like MCK and Vanover so good? 40 rupees. In short, an absurd amount of stick time and uh, a high degree of natural talent and capability. That's it. Like, I don't know. I mean, that's a kind of a lame answer, but there you go.